News alert. I am not completely surprised by the outcome. I, I will say I am surprised by the outcome of some of the individual charges. Uh, I'm not surprised by the totality of the outcome. After more than a year of hearings, the ruling is final. Councilman Anthony Piagentini will get to keep his seat on Metro Council. This is Wave News at 11. I'm John Bull. Piagentini was accused of taking a high paying job directly after helping the council send millions of dollars to that same company. After both an ethics commission and a charging committee found him guilty of ethics violations, the council court voted differently. Wave News reporter David Ochoa has been following this case since it started. Yeah, 18 votes were needed in order to oust Piagentini from the council. There were eight charges against him, and the most votes the prosecution got on any of the charges was 12. Hours worth of arguments and questioning witnesses finally came to an end Monday. The Metro Council Court heard the closing arguments from both sides of Councilman Anthony Piagentini's removal hearing. He's a consummate public servant who was elected and re-elected with the overwhelming support of his constituents. He's been through hell and back these last few months. He has encountered countless accusations questioning both his personal and his professional character. His response to these charges throughout the proceeding has been to play the victim, to blame others, and to deny the obvious. He won't hold himself accountable, so now you have to do it. Both sides got an hour to make their arguments. Piagentini's lawyer argued the prosecution didn't actually prove anything throughout the trial. You will conclude that the charging committee has not met its burden. The prosecution responded by saying the fact that Piagentini refused to answer any of their questions, the council could infer that it was because any answer would hurt his case. You passed a code of ethics. If you weren't serious about it, you might as well just tear it up. Once they were done, the council spent hours deliberating. When they returned to the chambers, Council President Marcus Winkler read off the votes of the individual charges and how each member voted. 18 votes were needed to kick Piagentini off the council, but the most they got on any of the charges were 12. Accordingly, Councilman Piagentini is not removed from office as a result of this trial. This hearing is ended. After the verdict, both Councilman Kevin Kramer and Winkler said they weren't surprised that Piagentini kept his seat. I've seen the evidence. Um, I'm convinced that there was nothing in the evidence that rose to the level of, you know, of, a, of a, a charge that was worthy of removal. There was evidence presented that it's not quite as clear cut as, I'll be honest, as I thought going into it. I mean, I, I thought there was one series of facts, um, and through the testimony, um, I will say my opinion changed. Winkler was asked how the council moves forward and continues to work together after a somewhat contentious process. At the end of the day, we're here to serve the citizens of the, of the city of Louisville, uh, and we do that best by working together. And I think sort of reminding people of ultimately what's our charge and what's our mission um, is really the way that you start. Council members Ja'Cory Arthur and Barbara Shanklin didn't vote on any of the charges. You can see how the rest of the council voted by going to wave3.com. And after not saying anything leading up to this hearing and then pleading the fifth when he took the stand, Piagentini says he'll probably break his silence tomorrow. David Ochoa, Wave News. Okay, thanks.